Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We're at the Be Better Golf School in Orlando, Florida at the Mike Bender Golf Academy with a, what, what do they call it, Dan? This is Dan Wingett. Are you a certified Mike Bender Golf Academy teacher? So staff Mike Bender, instructor. Staff instructor here. So Dan was a, uh, a very, very high level baseball pitcher before uh, he got into golf. And Dan, what are some of the similarities between throwing a baseball, if any, and swinging the golf club? Well, the kinematic sequences are almost the same as far as how your body separates, opens, and stays closed. Okay. So, I mean, you, we're trying in the, in the golf swing not to have the shoulders fly open yeah. and the club come in late. We're trying to get the arms down quicker when the club gets delivered in front of the body. It's the same thing when you're pitching. Okay. If you rotate home toward home plate, the front shoulder flies open, the arm will drag, and your accuracy will really suffer. And we see that in golf when that front shoulder, shoulder goes open. Yep. That's fat. The club gets behind, and then people start missing it both ways. One uh, drill that they do here at the academy that, that I thought was really cool is this stopper drill. I don't, I don't, what do you guys call it? We just call it a, a drill to create some freedom between your upper body and your arms. Okay. I want to help you create arm speed without feeling like you have to pull it with the big muscles of the body. Okay, so do it for us and then I'm going to try and tell, uh, because I, if I make a backswing like I normally would, closer. what I want to do is return back to impact. Then my body is going to stop, my arms are going to rotate up, and the club's going to come right up next to my head. My goal when I do this is to keep my shoulders parallel to the target line when I finish. Because that At impact, yeah, yes, when you're finished. Even okay. all the way up, because that creates a little bit less pull on the front side of the body. So do that for us. Okay. There you go. Wasn't that good. Perfect. And then, I, then when I get set here, if I just fold up, I'm already finished. That's your finish. My arms are rotated, the club's released. I'm gonna try it. Now, almost always when, when somebody first tries to do it, where where do they end up at impact? They end up way over here. Okay, yeah. So my goal is to go correct and let this fold up and get right next to your head. This wrist flat yeah. and knees parallel. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Close. A little better. Yeah, it's better. All right, let's see. And then all you would have to do if you stayed right here, mm -hmm. now pivot. Let's try that again. This is not good. So what is the fun? Like, what is the golfer that you would have do this? And would this be for the golfer that really does open? Somebody's usually somebody who's not a of So do this accelerating your arms. Correct. Yeah, the idea is to That was better, but I still want to be like... Yeah, it's, it's that's going to happen a lot right. when you first do it. Yeah. You're going to have to pull that back probably a hundred times before you keep it there. I guess a great way to exaggerate it, go ahead and take yeah. your setup when mm -hmm. you turn. Yeah. Go ahead and make your back swing. So your shoulders are aiming to the right, right here. You're aiming that way. Try to swing your arms in the same angle. Oh, gotcha. So really try to hit a big push. It helps you keep the front shoulder closed. Much like a baseball player trying to hit the ball to right field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Draw and I was a little, I was quite a bit open, but I'm getting the feeling of the, that more. Yep. If Jack can back up a little bit, this, uh, another cool thing they have here. What What is this? It's like the... It's a really complicated looking training aid. What, what is this station here? This is, think of it as just a feedback station. Okay. If we've got an angle problem, it doesn't matter what your teaching philosophy is. Yeah. Anybody can use this machine to fix any problem. Okay. For instance, let's say you got a player who... Let's say we're doing the same thing we were just talking about. Okay. Where we want to swing more like this. More yeah. from the inside. Well, one of the pieces that we need here isn't really on the machine right now. But what I would do with somebody is I would give them noodle. Uh -huh. A little closer, Jack, because it's hard to hear. Go ahead and set up for me. Okay. Say I've got somebody who really over swings and over rotates on the back. So I'm gonna yeah. Take this bar and put it here. Mm -hmm. and you go ahead and make the back swing. Okay. Yep. And I can. The coach or the teacher can put this wherever they want it. Mm -hmm. They could have it higher. They could have it lower. They can, whatever you want to do. If you wanted to control the angle of the back swing, you could do that as well. Now, if I wanted to get them to come down a little more inside. Yeah. Take this piece, put it right up over the top. Yeah. And you can adjust 
adjust the plane however you want to adjust it. You can put it low to make them shallow, you can raise it up. If somebody gets severely across the line, you So can then this would be on separately, or you could do it yeah. together? You can do anything you want together. Okay, cool. I could pull this out completely. So I can say I've got somebody who's severely across the line with the shaft, I can use this. Cool, man. Right. So you're really feeling... Yeah, I can relate like if, if you If you teach that that's too low... All you gotta do is raise. That's right here. Bring that up. And then you can raise this piece off. Okay, so you can get that plane wherever you want it. I like this too, too, because a lot of times I'll go like that, right? You know? So I, it I really do the same keeps thing. it. I get to the top and tip the shaft a little vertical, so this helps me too. That is awesome. That's, it's another. There's several functions. We have a piece that will hold your knees in place. We'll slide side to side. Yeah. There's all kinds of things you can do in here. If you guys are interested in seeing Dan, he's here in Orlando at the Mike Bender Golf Academy. If you go to MikeBender.com, Dan's contact info is there, right? Correct. Yeah. And uh, you can get on these training aids because um, a lot of people shy away from training aids, but it's really the obstacles and things that can make changes happen fast, well, right? We, we found the best training aids, the ones that make the most lasting improvements, are the ones that you can actually use at full speed while you're hitting the ball. Yep. Because if you're doing it slow, yeah, I mean, doesn't the minute really... you speed up, your habits come back. So yeah. you could start in here as something like this, and let's just say your swing speed's 85 miles an hour with a seven iron. Yeah. You could start in here at 50, yeah. and build your way back up to 85, and by the time you get to 85, the motor patterns are identical. Yeah. And really, anything you do in here, you could replicate with noodles and things like that. Absolutely. Too. This so. is this is the stationary system. That's the mobile system. Okay. The noodles are the mobile yeah, system. Yeah, that's the stuff we travel around with. This is just in a fixed location. All right, so uh, click the subscribe button. Click, click the, the like button. These guys and Tony there, so take a shot of Tony. Take a look at that shirt. Oh. <laughs> Are part of the Be Better Golf School. Go to BeBetterGolf.net slash school, and you can find out when our next one is. Thanks, Dan. You bet.